Hello, how you doing? Uh, good to be here with you, good to be playing for you. Um, I wish I was down in Atlanta playing in a room with you, but uh, unfortunately that's not happening this year. That'll have to wait to 2021. So I'm going to play a few tunes by myself on the pipes and uh, from New York. Um, and I'm going to have a few guests join me in a, in a wee while. Um, so I'll start with a couple of piping tunes, that's what I do when I'm playing by myself. And uh, the first tune has two names, one name is the Geese in the Bog, um, but most of the pipers call it the Lark's March, and uh, it's kind of a relation of the, the Lark in the Morning. Um, I probably play it more, but in the last few months I've been playing the Lark's March. I heard a great version by Peter Brown. Um, in the last year or so and uh, sort of took a few bits from that. So I'll do that and then another pipe and tune. The, it's called Chucky to a Walulum um, or Will You Come Home With Me? And this is uh, a tune I learned in Armagh growing up but definitely inspired by Great Lame O'Flynn.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead with uh, different, a few different tunes this time. Uh, first of all, a uh, hornpipe. Um, this is a tune I've been playing all my life. A tune my, my parents played at the Piper Slob, and a uh, pretty common enough tune called The Plains of Boyle, great piping tune. Um, I always liked a version of Paddy Keenan and Paddy Clacken um, on an album called Dublin. Um, I'll go from that and do a couple of reels. Uh, one reel that I've learned in more recent times, uh, another great fiddle and pipe album, Mick O'Brien and Keefe O'Reilly. And uh, this is a tune called Chimple and Glanton, um, or the Temple Glanton reel. Around, it translated as Around the Glen, but I think it's actually a place name. So. Uh, that's the second tune. And the third third tune is a very well-known piping, sort of piping classic being recorded by uh, a lot of the old pipers like Willie Clancy and Seamus Ennis, but uh, also by probably every every young piper plays it too and everybody teaches it. It's called Sean Reed's. Uh, it's a favourite of my father's. So I'm going to have my first guest on this tune. Uh, I'm going to magically transport in Patrick Ducey, Patrick from, from County Mayo, um, who's been living in New York, uh, beside me in Queens for a few years now. He was actually born in the US in, in Massachusetts. Um, but uh, he's a great player and he's he's been playing guitar with Luna Set now for the last uh, few years and a lot of our American tours and I, I play a lot with, with Patrick locally too. So please welcome Patrick Ducey.
Thanks, Patrick. Uh, nice to play along with you. Um, okay, I think for the next set, we're going to bring another Lunasa member along. Um, this guy's been playing with us now for probably seven or, seven or eight years. He took over from Sean Smith, a um, great fiddle player, a uh, great character, and happy to have him in the band and here today for you. Uh, Colin Farrell is his name and uh, we're going to play, we, there was a set I did on my CD a few years ago, uh, the Ravens Rock, um, it's the name of the CD, but we did a set called Stormy Hill and uh, it was a, a set of three tunes and I've been playing a bit with Colin, nobody else learned it, so uh, Colin's the only one that would indulge me. Um, but two, two old traditional tunes um, and one, one very new tune, uh, the slide, two slides, uh, the first slide is a tune called Crook and Chimple, uh, the Church on the Hill I think. Um, the second tune is, the, the first tune is a very old tune, it goes back to some of the earliest piping recordings. Um, there's a very old cylinder recording of a, a piper from Kerry. He had the great name Mickey Humba Usulawain, and uh, he did a version of this tune. It was kind of as part of a suite called Alistair's March. Um, the second one's probably better known, and it's called The Star Above the Garter, yes, and it's associated with, again, Kerry musicians, I think. Um, Julia Clifford, I think there was a, an album called The Star Above the Garda when I was growing up. And the last tune is a tune all of my own. It's a tune from Armagh, not surprisingly. And uh, I call it Stormy Hill. I, apart from playing the pipes, my other favourite pursuit in life is running. And uh, when I was growing up, I was always in a, in a running club with my family. And uh, there was a, a great hill on the course when you went out round the roads round Armagh called Stormy Hill. So there was a few stray dogs nipping at your heels. So you always uh, made a good a good run up Stormy Hill. So give that a go. Alright, Colin.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead with something a bit different. Uh, I'm going to play a few tunes on the low whistle, uh, my my second instrument. And uh, these are this is a set of three tunes, uh, two of which I wrote myself, um, and one that was written by my brother Niall. Niall wrote the the middle tune. It's a, a lovely tune called Nina's, and uh, he named this after Nina Simone, the great jazz singer. Um, the first and the last I wrote, uh, actually quite a, a long time apart, I wrote I wrote the first tune back. I was actually in a, in a sublet in Brooklyn in New York, and uh, I wrote this tune, but it never kind of, it never got past... Uh, uh, I suppose a cassette recorder or whatever, a mini disc, whatever I had at the time. Um, but many years later, I, I brought it sort of into the public eye. I uh, got brave and uh, I it was around about the time I'd had children for the first time. And uh, my younger daughter, Sinead, is very laid back, quiet individual. And uh, I thought this tune would would work well to be named after Sinead. So I call it Sinead Moyes. And the third tune uh, I wrote much, much later, and it was around the time of my third child's birth. And uh, she was quite the character from a young age, never slept and uh, very lively. And I thought she would suit this sort of slightly wilder tune. Um, so it's called Emer's Shuffle after Emer.
Okay, I'm going to go back to the solo piping again. Uh, hope you enjoyed the guests. I enjoyed playing along with them. Uh, this virtual world. Um, but that's all we have at the moment, so I, I, I suppose it's it's better than, than nothing. Um, so I'll do, do a set, I'll do a, a slow tune, it's a big tradition on the pipes to play the, the, the melodies of the Shamno songs, the Irish language, old songs. And this is one of them, it actually originally comes from a poem. Um, so it's called An Bonan Bui. And uh, it's from a poem by uh, a poet from from County Fermanagh, I believe, Cahal Bui Michaela Connor. And uh, I learned it though from a piper, from the great Liam Liam Ogo Flynn. Uh, I somebody gave me a nice recording of Liam playing live in New York City in the early eighties, and uh, he had a nice version of his tune on it here. I don't think he recorded it on any of his albums, so. Nice to get that. And uh, I'll do that and then I'll go and do a uh, piping set dance. This is a tune I learned from a recording of the great Johnny Doran, one of the one of the great travelling pipers. And uh, there was just one recording ever made of him, actually, an, an archival recording in, in the early 50s as he's died very young, but a very sort of charismatic uh, sort of a genius of a player, a uh, very... Um, creative and a lot of regulator and variations and stuff. So he had his own way of playing this tune, and I, I've taken wee bits of it. So, but I'm going to be first. <clears throat>
Okay, so that was a, a set dance, set air and, and, and set dance, so very pipey, pipey sort of oriented stuff. So I'll go, well, it's actually uh, come to the end of, of my slot. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'm sure there's lots of good music to come. Uh, and uh, yeah, just to say a thanks to Teresa for uh, inviting me to play at your virtual festival. I'm looking forward to next year playing at the real thing. Uh, it'll be nice to be in Atlanta again. Um, so I'll finish off. Uh, I'll have one more guest. Um, well actually there'll be two guests on this track but I've one more that you haven't heard so far and this is David Ducey, Patrick's brother, um, also from Mayo. Actually they're both from uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. And uh, uh, but I've grown up in Cardi Mayo and myself and, and David, sometimes with Patrick, but sometimes just the two of us have been playing a lot this last couple of years. We actually had a CD almost finished, almost ready to go in in uh, in November, um, but I'll have, to, I'll have to wait for next year. So... Um, We'll do, yeah, what do we do? Yeah, we're going to do a set of reels. Uh, we're going to do a set of reels called The Cottage in the Grove. This is one of the sets from my CD that uh, Dave and Patrick kindly, kindly have learned. Um, and this is set The Cottage in the Grove, The Kiss the Maid Behind the Barrel, big piping tune associated with Leo Rosam. And the last tune is the Master Crowley's or the Ross Common Reel. And uh, yeah, two fiddle tunes probably and one pipe. So thank you and uh, all keep safe and healthy and hope to see you soon.
Good evening. I sure hope you enjoyed that concert. Killian Valley and some guests from the band Lunasaw, Trevor Hutchinson, the Ducey brothers, Pat and David, and our own beloved Colin Farrell. Um, thank you so much uh, for doing that video for us, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was our first attempt at a virtual Irish Fest Atlanta. We hope that you enjoyed yourself over the last three days. And remember that these videos will be on our website available to you through the month of November. Also, I want to remind you that the auction does close this evening. So please go out and get your final bids in. We really rely on the auction proceeds to help us with special with the programming that you see as well as contribute to our scholarship programs here in Atlanta. And I'd like to take this opportunity with the hopes that we are back in historic Roswell next year in 2021 to announce that we have signed on Lunasa as our one of our featured bands for 2021. We look forward to more announcements of our featured artists coming soon, but we're thrilled to have Luna Sub back with us. And we hope that we will be able to see you in person in 2021 for our Irish Fest Atlanta. Thank you.